How difficult was that loss when you consider that you guys did everything you had to do to win? You know, it, you know, it's tough. You always want to you want to win the game, you know. Uh, but we went out there and, and we fought. So, you no, know, we we got to learn from this and, and keep going. You know, it's a long season. You know, it's a tough loss, but it's already behind us. Now you move the ball very well. But just getting inside that red zone, getting touchdowns, have you been able to figure out what the problem is settling for field goals and not getting six? Uh, we just we we got to keep getting better. You know, that's kind of been the theme all season is getting down there and uh, not finishing these drives, you know. So uh, we know what the problem is. we we got to continue to try to find a way to fix it. So that's what, that's what we're going to do when we go back to work. You know, watching Rex yesterday after the game, Bruno, that's about as angry as we've seen him, uh, certainly, you know, at the, at the podium. How angry was he after the game in the locker room? Uh, you know, he was, he, obviously, you want to get the W, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Emotions were out there, you know, so uh, we understand how, how passionate he is for the game, and especially when we play, when we play a division rival, you know what I'm saying? So... We understand him. We back him up. But, you know, he also came out with a lot of support for us too. So uh, he's a good he's a good coach to play for. And uh, we, we just we know we got all we need. We just got to keep getting better. See, I was going to ask you because not so much last night, but if you look at the game against Denver or, or, or the San Diego game, when he comes out and he puts all the blame on himself, knowing that it's not all his fault, but but as a player. How hard do you want to play for that guy, knowing that he was willing to fall on the sword for the entire team? That's, uh, you know, you go out there. He he's our leader. You know what I'm saying? So we we go out there and we we go to work. We try to go to work and we do it for one another. You know, we treat this this team as a family. I know it's some, it's not going good right now, but you know, inside the locker room, there's a lot of support inside that whole facility. So we're just going to continue to go to work and, and try to get better, and the ball's going to start bouncing our way, you know, once or twice. Uh, you know, we'll make a few more plays, and we'll start getting the W. But we got to start with one, so how we'll go diffi- back to work next week. How difficult, and we're talking with Bruno Giacomini and the Jet Player Spotlight here on the Michael K. Show, how difficult has this been for you? One and six. Last year, you were the team that won the Super Bowl. I mean, do you talk to your teammates about that and the difference between the two places? No, you know, uh Last year was last year, so I came here and I, I'm just trying to learn what what they have and, and adapt to what they got going on here. So we don't really talk too much about last year. We just, you know, I'm a Jet now and I practice the way the way we practice over here. And, you know, obviously you compare some things, but yeah, I don't talk I don't talk to them about that. But you're that one much. of the leaders. Uh, in, there, uh, you're one of the leaders in that room. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said, you're one of the leaders in that room, and I'm just wondering, when you are going out there and you're not getting things to go your way, and you're 1-6 and six and you're staring at a possibility of a season being lost, do you, you're going to have to pump up your guys and just continue to get them to be engaged? Because it's got to be frustrating to go out there and lose. So do you feel that this is a room that, that could be slipping, that needs to be a little bit more mentally focused going into these games? No, I think, I think we did good. You know, we're getting better every week. Uh, we got all we need, you know what I'm saying? We just we got to go back to work. I know we we're we're down right now, obviously. So uh, you know we're we're staying in these games, man. There's only been like one one game where we weren't really there. We just got to make more plays. We got to find a way to finish. We have enough enough leadership in that locker room. That's you know that's no question there. My right, final thing, Breno, what did it mean to you to come? I mean, you grew up in Massachusetts. You grew up as a Patriot fan. Obviously, you're not right now. You had family and friends there. What did it mean for you to be on that field? It was good. It was good to, to go back home and kind of to where it started and, and have all the people that supported me growing up, you know, come to that game and be able to, you know, watch warm-ups or whatever. So I was, it, was, it was a special time, you know, but we didn't get out of there with a W, so. You know, I'm trying to already put that in the past, and uh, maybe we'll get a W next time over there. 